Second. We are on the record in case number 2020 CF 2603, State of Florida versus Sarah Boone. State, let me get your parents for the record. Chief Kester on behalf of the state. William J. State. Defense. James Owens for the Boone. Kevin Mr. Okay. All right. Uh, Ms. Boone is seated at council's table. We're in the same clothing from this morning. Uh, yes, Mr. Beck. Judge, uh, they've got her in uh, chains and uh, they've got her in the ankle. They've got her in the handcuffs so she can't, she can't go anywhere. I'm just asking, we would like to rise during the... Uh, Jury coming in, I'm asking if there's any way we can take off the, the handcuffs and the, uh, the waist chain so that the jury wouldn't see it. In case there's something wrong with the verdict form or, you know, there's an issue, which sometimes happens, but that's my position. Okay. I've been advised by the sheriff that during the reading of the verdict, due to Miss Boone's status in an inmate, their leg irons and the cuffs are, are to be attached. Well, she's going to stay seated. That's fine. Mr. Beck's going to stay seated. I would ask for it all to remain seated and remind everybody in the gallery um, that there should be no emotional reaction. I, I was just about to address that, sir. Thank you very much. All right, members of the jury, my understanding, or members of the gallery, good evening. My understanding is that the jury in this matter has reached a verdict. I don't know what it's going to be until it's read. If you are unable to contain yourself emotionally and you're going to react in any way, be it in joy or in sadness, I'm going to ask you politely to excuse yourself at this time. There cannot be any emotional outbursts when the verdict is read. Does everybody understand that? See everybody nodding their heads. Okay. State, are we ready to bring in our jury? Yes, Your Honor. Defense, are we ready to bring in our jury? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Let's go ahead and bring in our jury. Everyone will remain seated. State, do you recognize our jury? Yes, Your Honor. Defense, do you recognize our jury? Yes, sir. All right. Members of the jury, you may be seated. Thank you. Members of our jury, good evening. I understand that you've come to a verdict in this case. Yes. If you could please hand the verdict form to the deputy, please. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Madam Clerk, if you could please publish the verdict. In the Circuit Court of the Ninth Judicial Circuit and in Orange County, Florida, case number 2020 CF2603, the State of Florida versus Sarah Moon. The verdict. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of murder in the second degree as charged in the information. So, say we all, dated at Orlando, Orange County, Florida, on this 25th day of October 2024, the form has been signed by the court. Madam Clerk, please poll our jury. Juror seat number one, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes, it is. Juror seat number two, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes, it is. Juror seat number three, is this your true and correct verdict? Juror seat number four, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes. Juror seat number five, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes, jury seat number six. Is this your jury correct verdict? Yes, ma'am. Members of our jury, again, I want to thank you for your time, your sacrifice, and your attention in this matter. I know that we spent almost two weeks together, and it was not taken lightly, and I really appreciate the time and the effort and the sacrifice that you put into this case. I want to advise you now of your final instruction. Members, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to thank you for your time and your consideration in this case. I also wish to advise you of some very special privileges enjoyed by jurors. No juror can ever be required to talk about the discussions that occurred in the jury room except by court order. For many centuries, our society has relied upon juries for consideration of difficult cases. We have recognized for hundreds of years that a jury's deliberations, discussions, and votes should remain their private affair as long as they wish it. Therefore, the law gives you a unique privilege not to speak about the jury's work. Although you are at liberty to speak to anyone about your deliberations, you are also at liberty to refuse to speak to anyone. A request to discuss either your verdict or your deliberations may come from those who are simply curious. 
from those who might seek to find fault with you, from the media, from the attorneys, or elsewhere. It will be up to you to decide whether to preserve your privacy as a juror. With that, members of the jury, again, I thank you for your service. I'm going to ask you to return to the deliberation room. I'll be back there shortly with your jury certificates, and thank you. <clears throat> Ms. Boone, the jury has spoken in this matter and has found you guilty of murder in the second degree. The court adjudicates you guilty of murder in the second degree. As this is your first felony conviction, you are entitled to a pre-sentencing investigation by the Department of Corrections. Mr. Owens, are you seeking that in this case? Yes. Okay. State, I will order the Department of Corrections to prepare the pre-sentencing investigation. State, for the purposes of sentencing, do you anticipate eliciting any testimony from, be it the victims, victim's family? Two or three victim impact statements, sir. Okay. Mr. Owens, do you plan on presenting any evidence during the course of the sentencing hearing, sir? Um, probably some testimony from Dr. Harper. Okay, all right. How long do you think, State, that you would need? You mean timing-wise, or are we thinking? A, a quantum of time, sir. Side. Yeah, well, normally it takes about 30 days or so. I'm confirming with Anita as to availability. I just want to know from your side of the ledger, how much time? Okay, 15 minutes. How much time do you think you're going to need to produce anything from your side of the ledger, sir, Mr. Owens? I'd say 30 minutes. Okay. 30 to 45. So if we set this for an hour, that would be sufficient. Pardon me. Okay. Is that sufficient, Mr. Owens? Yes. Okay. All right. Give me a moment. Ms. Berrios is checking. Just give us a moment. We can set this matter for 1.30 in the afternoon for sentencing on December 2. State, is that acceptable? It's a Monday. I, I just had a hearing, but uh, I'm, I'll make it work. I can move it to later if necessary. Uh, I'm co-counsel on it. Okay. Defense. Yes, sir. That's Monday, December 2 at 1.30? Yes, sir. I can be here. Right. Ma'am, you've been adjudicated guilty. I now um, remand you into the custody of the Orange County Jail pending sentencing on December 2 at 1.30. State, anything else we need to address? Not from the state. Defense. All right. Thank you very much. We're off the record.